Hey guys, real quick video today. I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Android smartphone. And backing up your device, of course, is a brilliant idea if you're ever planning to do uh, some sort of upgrade or if you want to try out some new software and uh, you don't want anything to possibly go wrong and, you know, mess up your day. So the last thing you want to do is waste a whole bunch of time having to reformat from scratch or even worse losing your data and there's a couple ways of backing up your phone so the primary way of backing up your phone is using this app called titanium backup and uh, this is an extremely powerful piece of software which can back up all of your apps and if we go to backup and restore here and this is all the apps that you have uh, on your device and it will say if you have backups or any of them if you've been using it already. For the most part though you can go to batch actions and you can uh, back up all your user apps and these are all the apps that you have downloaded and uh, installed at one point um, or you can back up all your user apps and system data. If you want to be safe do that one and just select them all but just be quite careful when restoring because you don't want to restore all this system stuff uh, especially if you're changing your ROM or upgrading it to a newer operating system um, you know shoving in parts of the old operating system on uh, on a newer one is definitely going to cause problems for the most part though this is what I do and this works quite well I back up all my user apps right so all everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis this is just you know, Google Drive, Facebook, Gmail, that sort of stuff. Uh, that's no problems at all. But I also back up some system data. And I normally hit this deselect all button here. And I only back up, let's say, my accounts, Bluetooth pairings. I don't even bother with bookmarks because everything is synced through Chrome. Uh, I like to back up my call log. Um, alarms sometimes if I'm not using a proper alarm clock app uh, even this stuff like the country and time zone you set that up when you first you know uh, install a ROM uh, data usage that's an important one I like to back up and messages I don't want preferences and that's pretty much all I bother backing up and sometimes settings, if I'm keeping it on the same uh, operating system, like if I'm just doing a simple upgrade, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep settings as well, but I don't always restore them. And oh, Wi-Fi access points, that one's pretty important too. So with that all backed up, you just press uh, the little tick button at the top, and that will take no time at all, and then all that system data is backed up on top of all the user data that I've already backed up ahead of time. So that's that's the really simple way of using Titanium Backup to uh, back up just your core apps and data. Mind you, that isn't everything. And there is a way to do a full system backup using your recovery. Now the Android recovery is a piece of software which is embedded into every smartphone. It's not always the same. You know, some smartphones and the ones I particularly sell, they always have what's called a custom recovery called uh, TWRP or TWRP or Team Win Recovery Project. And uh, this is a, a system which allows you to uh, make an entire system backup to just a folder. So I'll show you how that works. Now, you have to have some sort of custom recovery to do backups. And to get into the recovery, you need a long press on that power button and bring up the reboot menu. Now, if this doesn't come up when you hit reboot, if it's just saying, okay, hit cancel, and assuming you're on Cyan Engine mod, just go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about phone, and then tap on build number until development settings are enabled, and then go back into developer options, and this advanced reboot, you want that to be ticked. If it's not ticked, you will get that. So tick that. And then you get the advanced reboot options. If you want a ROM that doesn't support this, there's a couple of other ways to do it. There's either a key combination. So when you just reboot normally, you hold either the volume 
key up or the volume in the down key or sometimes it's the down key uh, you know once it starts rebooting and that will normally get you into recovery uh, otherwise you can download an app called like reboot manager if you go into the play store and search uh, reboot manager you can get an app that will boot you straight into recovery but for the sake of this video we'll just go straight in there right now this may take a moment So it's now rebooting. Come on. There we go. And now we are in Team Win Recovery Project. Now. Come on, focus. This camera is a little bit useless. There we go. Alrighty, so here we are. We've got a number of options here. And this will probably change in future versions, but the principle remains the same. So on this menu here, you see this backup button here. And, and I probably should have said this ahead of time, but you do need to make sure you got a fair bit of storage available. Um, just from what you can see here, we need about uh, close to about 2.6, 2.7 gigabytes of space available on our storage. Now if you've got a, a memory card, um, by all means uh, store your backups on the memory card because you probably have a lot more space there, but I don't have a, a micro SD card in this device. And, and really you don't have to do anything here, you, you just hit swipe to backup, you just swipe across and that will back up the whole system. Now that's going to take some time, so I'm not going to do that right now. It, it does take a good 10-15 minutes on most devices. But if you ever want to restore a backup, and let's say you've gone to install, uh, oh, hang on, whoops, go back. Okay, let's say you go to install, go up a level, and usually if you, by the way, if you've got a, um, an update already downloaded, it will usually be in a folder called um, OTA updates or CM updater or something like that, or sometimes even in download. And it should be like a zip file. I put all of mine into Android ROM files. And if there's like an update like that, CM12, tap on that. And then that will update that file. And, and your operating system will get updated once it happens. But let's say it all goes really bad. And you need to restore that backup. So you just hit restore. Select the backup you want to restore. And you can see I've already gone ahead and done a backup ahead of time. And you just swipe to restore. And that's pretty much it. It's a fairly straightforward process and it will put it back to that point in time. Now do be careful with, with this of course, uh, because if you've uh, you know, added apps or changed something in the meantime, everything that you've changed since this last backup, if you restore it, all of that will go. Uh, it's gonna be deleted. Saying that, things like contacts, um, anything synced with your Google account, that should remain. That's not gonna disappear because that is synced with Google. And then of course, once you're done, hit that reboot button and hit system and then that will boot straight back into Android. Alright, I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, hopefully this covers everything. If you have any questions, do let me know. Uh, and until next time, thank you for listening.